tell me your story. Take me back to when, how did you discover that you had something that was questionable in your chest area? Um, being a male, it was very apparent. I didn't think anything of it, but um, I did notice uh, a small lump on my right side of my chest, right underneath the nipple. And actually, I thought it was a zit. It was that small. Yeah. And, uh, and that was about 2008. My father had recently been diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer and, and colon cancer at the same time. My father got in touch with me and said, uh, hey, son, I don't know, I don't know what to eat anymore. You know, can you do some research for me and, and tell me what I need to do? And so as I started doing research for him, I started realizing my own situation, like, because I know there is a high risk on my father's side of the family. Right. Okay. And you, you had felt this pea size right underneath your nipple on your right side. Yes. And so you decided to go to the doctor? No, not right away because, I mean, what guy, there's no guy running around saying, hey, this is going on. This is not really widely known. So I kind of sat on it for almost a year. Wow. It grew. It started to grow slowly. So given all this, still, are you this macho guy that was like, I'm not going to go to the doctor over this. This is going to take care of itself? At this point, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm scared to talk to a doctor. But I know I would have to go in and get, you know, do checkups and, and do everything that it takes to continue on. So tell me how, why you were afraid to talk to a doctor. Uh, economics or, or financial reasons. Okay. Uh, I was afraid that if this is cancer, how am I going to pay for all this? How is this even going to work? How, you know, I put all that aside and, and, and went in and, and had to face it head on. So I went to a walk-in clinic in um, South Sacramento. And uh, what was most important, though, uh, the doctor, he took me seriously. Before this, I had just made phone calls inquiring about uh, mammograms for males. The reaction I got was like, no, we don't do that for men. Uh, you know, it was like, are you kidding kind of thing. And, really? Uh, yeah, about six different places I called. I mean, it's a legitimate question. Well, I wasn't taken seriously by all these people. So I physically went into this office, and uh, the doctor did take it seriously, and, and he said, well, don't worry about it. You know how they always say, don't worry about it. It's probably nothing. You know, he said, it's probably a cyst, but uh, we're going to go ahead and, and get you set up for uh, a mammogram. They quickly realized that a mammogram really doesn't make sense for a male. Yeah, you don't have anything to squish. Yeah, and they tried, and I, I believe that that irritated the, the tumor as well. Um, but what really worked worked out well was the uh, the long the core needle biopsy. Yeah. Um, that that got right down to the heart of the matter. And then 48 hours after the long needle biopsy, that's when the results came, and they called me uh, via phone and said, "Come down to the doctor's office right away."